Mobivate does a lot of work in Africa, including direct carrier billing, premium SMS, and more recently mobile money. So we're seeing a lot of opportunities with mobile wallets across the continent, especially in Kenya and Ghana, because that's a better option for a lot of people as they're not having to use their credit on products, as is the case with direct carrier billing. So mobile money in Africa works differently to premium SMS or mobile billing, as we call it, MobiPay, as a separate wallet is required for their funds. Whereas with mobile payments, in terms of direct carrier billing, it's taken directly from their carrier wallet, i.e. their credit or airtime. So with direct carrier billing and premium, users really mainly pay for digital content, digital goods such as games, music, OTT, VOD. However, with mobile money, the market is opened up to physical goods and services. So everything from parking, ticketing, vending, a whole range of services that were previously unavailable during mobile billing transactions. So Mobivate is looking to expand further into Africa, into Francophone countries to be precise. So we're in the sub-Saharan African continent and we're also looking to expand further into Europe. So we have a lot of connections lined up for different countries. At the moment we're in the UK and we're looking to branch out into Ireland and also across the sea into the Netherlands and Italy and Spain. So it's all good. Carrier billing has always been popular and fraud has always been a part of that. But I would say that fraud is not exclusively an element of carrier billing. When it comes to finance and payments, fraud is always central. It's just it's just inherent to payments, unfortunately. So I don't think it's exclusive to carrier billing when it comes to payments. Um, but people are working hard to combat fraud in the sector, for sure. You've got key players like MCP, Pello and Optics that we work with in order to combat fraud with all of our partners.